you can't talk to every single person in your market. And even if you did, even if five agents, 10 agents, 20 agents are talking to the same prospect, they haven't talked to you yet. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. I eventually lost everything, went bankrupt, sleep on our friends' couches, slept in my car a couple nights, and went back to roofing houses. This was literally one of, that right now is the happiest I've ever been. That was the second happiest I've ever been. Because there were guys 55, 65, 45, learning the same exact lessons I was learning at 25. And I knew that what I was going through right then was gonna take me where I am right now. So I go back to roofing houses, which was also not very good at the time. Ended up getting a job on an oil rig. I'm working on an oil rig. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why did I fail? So I become very curious. I read 100 books over the course of a couple years. And somewhere in there, I realized everything I did wrong. Between something I read in a book and seeing that my clients that I was selling property to at the top were still buying at the bottom when I was working on a oil rig out of the business, the combination of that made me realize what I did wrong. And that was that I valued deals over people. They were just a number to me. I just wanted the closing, the transaction, the money. And I realized that it's about the people, the relationship. Because I realized if I would have maintained those relationships through the crash and helped them through the crash, I would have sold them property. They were still buying and selling at the bottom. Selling bad assets, buying new, good assets. So what I realized, and another way that I'm reducing the failure rate is when the next crash happens, which is inevitable, it's gonna happen, I'm spreading this message of what I learned through the crash, which is closings happen every single day, regardless of what the market does. No market condition can take away the fact that closings happen every day. Go back to 2008, 2007, 2009, and look in your MLS, pull up your county records and see how many closings were happening every day. It's eye-opening, and it makes you think, what am I scared of? Because a lot of agents are scared of markets crashing. They fear that when the market crashes, they're gonna have to get out of the business, especially if they're new and they don't have any momentum in the business already. I'm trying to build my business, and then if a crash happens while I'm trying to build my business, I'm really gonna get hurt. Wrong. I don't care if you start the day the market crashes. If you do the things that I'm telling you to do, it doesn't matter what the market is doing. I learned that closings happen every day. I learned that business is unlimited, completely unlimited. Competition doesn't exist. Dan was talking about why would he give away free information to agents that are in his direct market? Because he understands what I'm saying. Me and Dan have talked about this many times. You can't talk to every single person in your market. And even if you did, even if five agents, 10 agents, 20 agents are talking to the same prospect, they haven't talked to you yet.